hello. So today I'm going to be doing a turkey in the new wave oven. Going through step by step showing you how it's done. It's pretty easy to do in the new wave, a lot quicker than conventional oven. And this recipe is one that will help keep your turkey nice and moist. The, the new wave oven does that on its own, but this with some additional things put inside the turkey will help keep it even extra moist. So let's go through what I have here. The turkey will be coming up in a moment, but uh, not quite yet. What I have here so far is I've got two tablespoons of butter here. I've got one celery stick chopped up, half an onion chopped up. These are four cabbage leaves. I've also got some sage. I've got some salt. I've got some pepper. I also have in a separate bowl I have a quarter cup of canola oil and another two tablespoons of butter. I'll be melting that and we'll be using that a little later on the turkey. But I just wanted to show you this step where we start out, we take those ingredients that are here on the chopping cutting board and we're going to try and make a sort of a ball of these. That will go inside of the breast cavity of the turkey. And this is what helps keep things a little moister. So this will be our little cabbage ball of sorts. Also I need to put a little a little salt, pepper, and sage in there just to give it a little taste. That's a little salt. Give it a little pepper. Give it a little bit of sage. I'll be showing you the turkey and some of the other steps in a moment here. So there's the star of our show, the turkey there. I have washed him off. Um, I used a little mild hand soap, washed him off, and rinsed that off. Also, um, <clears throat> I took him out the packaging. I removed everything from the innards. There's uh, usually going to be things in the back side of the turkey here. And in the front, in the breast cavity, you, you remove all that out unless you're uh, a cuckoo's plant. Actually, this is the back side. But you clean that back side out, you clean that front uh, breast cavity out, clean everything out of it. Unless your uh, cuckoo's going to use those for some other things. You clean them off, <clears throat> and then you take that canola oil and butter mixture. I melted that down and then just take my brush and I'm going to coat the outside of this turkey with the oil and butter mixture that I made. So I'm going to coat it with that now. And so you see me coating the exterior with that butter and oil mixture. And you want to get that all over the turkey, all over the exterior really good. Here. I just do all sides of them, get them nice and soaked up with that butter and oil. He likes it. And just coat them over. Put them on the front side some. Now I'm going to take that uh, 
kind of ball mixture that I made. That goes right in the front here. Right inside that breast cavity. And you just gotta work that in. Best you can. got the turkey in here breast side down. So you see the breast is down. That means you can see the back of the leg sticking up there. I'm just going to wash my hands off real quick and then I'll continue on here with the next step which is just to put the extender ring on. This is a 15 pound turkey I have here. So I'm going to cook it for about an hour and a half on each side. If it were about 12, then I would do it for about an hour. If it's a 12 or a little less than 12 pound turkey. The New Wave oven, you can do anything from 10 pound up to about 16 pound turkey. If it's over, uh, over about 12, you want to use your extender ring. That's my extender ring there. Lock that in. Get some of this out. I put my lid on, and I've got it all set to go. Cook. I'm going to do 90 minutes and start. So we'll come back in 90 minutes. We'll flip this over, cook it for another 90 minutes. And that's going to be it. It's going to be done. Alright, um, I wanted to make one quick correction. I said to use the extender ring for any turkey 12 pounds and up. Actually, you want to use the extender ring for any turkey 10 and up. As far as 10 pounds and up, use the extender ring. I've done it with an 11 pound turkey without the extender ring. But it's better to use the extender ring anything 10 pounds and up, i found from experience. Also, this turkey I wanted to say was thawed before we started cooking here. You can cook a frozen turkey in the new wave oven. I've done it before. But the meat's going to be a little tougher if you do a frozen turkey and you got to cook it a little, well, cook it a bit longer um, when it's frozen. But you can do it, and I have instructions for cooking a frozen turkey on my blog, superwaveovenrecipes.com also. But it all comes out a lot better with a uh, thawed turkey because the meat's much more moist and not as tough. So our turkey's still cooking. It's got an hour ten minutes left on the breast side down cooking and then we'll flip it over and do the 90 minutes on the other side and that'll be it. So our turkey has cooked for the first 90 minutes breast side down. Now I have to flip it. And how do you flip a turkey? Not easily. I'm going to, I've got one oven mitt glove here. Comes in kind of handy for this task. And we're going to try and flip it as smoothly and quickly as possible. See, but it works. All right, get that glove off. Get it 
tend to ring back in place. side up then we test temperature. So we'll see how it looks in 90 minutes. Okay so the turkey is uh, about 1 hour 21 minutes into that 90 minute run but it's looking pretty done so I'm going to hit the pause button here and test our temperature. As you can see it's uh, pretty done. That cabbage ball in the middle always gets pretty, uh, pretty overcooked, so that's okay because we're not keeping that cabbage ball, or we're not eating that cabbage ball. So I'm going to test temperature here. I've got a Measure Pro, a Measure Pro uh, meat thermometer. I've got it set for turkey, 180 degrees. Stick the probe in here, and we'll see what it comes up with. It's up to 174, 175. Hundred seventy-six. Make sure that probes it all the way. Looking like it might need another minute or two. Try another spot. Maybe I'm not getting enough. Oh. I don't think I was getting enough meat in that other spot. We're at 181. Let's try another spot on this side. Let's try one more. Yeah, it's 192 there. I think I was just sticking it straight into the breast. I was sticking it straight through the breast cavity and I think I was hitting the air. So it's good and done. So that's how you cook a whole turkey in the New Wave oven. And the New Wave oven can hold about up to a 16 pound turkey. I think after 16 pounds it probably gets a little too wide there for the uh, ring. But if you like the video you can thumbs up it. I hope this helped you a lot and good eating.